first ever study with me video. I had quite a bit of studying to do for the day and I decided to film it so that you guys could study with me because you probably have some homework or an assignment that you are procrastinating on and I thought this would be the perfect chance to get some work done together. If you guys happen to find this video motivating, make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe down below for weekly videos like this one. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I started my first study session at about 4 p.m. and I took some notes on computer science. On that day in class, we started learning about a brand new application. I did have some notes that I took in class, but they were super messy and there was also some stuff that I didn't write down. So I decided to rewrite my notes because I knew that this was information I would refer to a lot at a later time. Um, because there were some things that I forgot to write about, I decided to pull out some resources from the internet and mix that with all of the notes that I had from class. And then I just wrote down all of the information and that was it for this part. Once I was done with all of the basic information that I wrote down on the first page, on the second page I decided to add some visuals. I am personally a visual learner, so I love adding diagrams, pictures, literally anything that can help me memorize information. So in this case, because we were learning about a new application, I decided to draw the interface or the main window of the application. I am recording this voiceover quite a bit later and I can tell you that I I've been referring to this interface quite a lot and it's been very useful. So I definitely recommend adding any types of graphics, diagrams, tables, anything like that if you are a visual learner um, to your notes because they will help you memorize information without you having to do much work. On the third page, I decided to do a little table, I guess you could say. The notes that I had in class and also the resources that I was using didn't actually offer this table view. I created that for myself. So actually creating that and putting all the pieces together did take a little bit of time. But in the long run, I referred to this so much and this was so useful.
So once I was done with everything, I decided to go ahead and highlight everything, um, the headlines and all that stuff. Also, I underlined the important words and colored in some of the interface elements to make everything pop because, as I said, I'm a visual learner that is super important for me. At that point, I was kind of done with the computer science notes for the day, so here's a little preview of all the three pages of notes that I took, so you guys can get some inspiration. So after that, at about 6.30ish p.m., I was back with another study session, which was taking some notes on physics. I did have quite some notes from class on the topic, which was very fortunate. However, there were some things that I didn't take notes about and I just kind of had them on sticky notes. So I decided to add them to my lecture, if that makes any sense, to make sure that the lecture is complete and no information is being left out. And then I did that for quite some time and then I was back with my highlighter, making sure that the information is very easy to visually see and memorize so that's me just highlighting all of the stuff super important by the way um i'm using my liners for all of my highlighting and then because this particular lecture had a ton of formulas and definitions in it i decided to make some super simple flashcards After the flashcards were complete, I did a few rounds um, of these flashcards and then I made sure to repeat them throughout the rest of the week before the next physics class to make sure that I know all the information by heart. At about 9 p.m. I was actually back with another study session and this time I was doing a research paper. So on this particular project I had to find out some information about an author's biography. So I went ahead and pulled out different resources, inserted all of the information into a Google Doc and then started going through and editing everything, deleting information that I thought was unnecessary, mixing information from different different sources and all that stuff. This did take about an hour and a half to do, a pretty long and boring process, but I did get through it and finished my research paper. So as I said, I was able to finish the research paper and I printed that out and I did enough studying for the day so I just decided to go to bed. So I really hope you guys enjoyed my study with me video and maybe did some studying with me which is awesome. If you did, make sure to give a big thumbs up to this video and subscribe down below if you guys haven't already for weekly videos like this one. Also, I always forget to say this, but you guys should definitely turn on your notifications for my channel so that whenever I upload, you guys can get a notification and watch my videos because you don't want to miss out. And that's pretty much all I have to say. So I'll see you guys next week with a new video. Bye!